Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the markets uh, trading to the upside. Dow's uh, up 190 points, about three quarters of a percent. Same with the S&P, which is 25 points. NASDAQ, 100 up uh, 1 and a quarter percent, 134 points. The big winner, winner, chicken dinner. That goes to the semiconductor index, up nearly 2%, 1 in 7 tenths percent. 35 points to the upside out there. So we've got a nice little rally going on, counter trend rally. Right now, you've got the spot VIX index trading out at 28 48, and that is below its 50-day uh, exponential moving average. Let's go ahead and start there. Take a look at the spot volatility. It's trading right now at 2848. 50-day exponential moving average is 2673. That is where the spot volatility index would have to close below for two sessions in a row to say that anything that is going on right now is anything more than a counter trend rally. At this stage of the game, just a counter trend rally. Now, you were to expect a counter trend rally to unfold today, tomorrow. Why? Well, if we take a look at the advanced decline oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange, it managed to get down to nearly the minus 250 level on a closing basis. When you close at or near minus 150, that is technically oversold territory. And you expect a bounce or a bottom to form inside of the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Right now, we just have to call this a bounce. That's all that it is at this stage of the game. As time goes on, the market will reveal more and more to us. Now, if we take a look at uh, probably the key today is actually going to be Apple and taking a look at looking for a message of the market. So I'm going to expand this chart out here. This is the daily time frame. Number two holding, I believe, inside of the NDX 100. If this is just a counter trend rally, then it ends right here, right now. Right now, 1 o'clock, 101 in the afternoon. Just kidding you about the 101, but it ends right here at 109.38. If we take a look at the brand new profile formed yesterday, bullish in structure. The center line is 109.39. We're trading right now at 109.41. Price closed below bullish structured profile yesterday. If this is just a counter trend rally in Apple, then price will stop right here, the center of that bullish structured profile. So if Apple closed above 109.39, I'm not talking 109.40, but nicely closes above that, then you can expect this to be at least a two day rally. Because then that would signal that Apple should make its way up to 117.26. Isn't that a wonderful thing? We're able to just narrow down the markets to just one stock. And watch what it does to answer the question, hey, what's price going to do the rest of the afternoon and tomorrow? Folks, stay tuned for two more great hours, three more great hours of, uh, of uh, shows out here. If you're off to start your Thursday, have a thirsty one, and we'll see you soon.